Returning to one of yesterday's report topics, the video about the woman who was fined by courts for having an offensive number plate. Now, lots of people had plenty to say about that video in the comments. Uh, the fact that the woman had actually altered the number plate, making it an offence, was one of them. Uh, although I tried to point out that she was fined for her number plate being offensive, not for her number plate being incorrect under the regulations. Now, oddly enough, even though so many people mentioned that in the comments, it's something that I did actually cover in the report itself, which makes me wonder why people comment before watching the entire video, or even in some cases, why bother commenting at all? Anyway, I wanted to point out that this isn't the first time somebody's been done for an alleged offensive number plate offence. Not the offence of having a number plate that fails to conform to the number plate standards. There's a very big difference. Now the rules for number plates on the government website state that the number plates on your vehicle must be made from a reflective interior, must display black characters on a white background for the front plate, must display black characters on a yellow background for the rear plate, must not have a background pattern, must be marked to show who supplied the number plate, must be marked with a British standard number, this is BSAU145E for plates fitted after the 1st of September 2021, and that the characters must not be removable or reflective, and if your number plate was fitted after the 1st of September 2021, there must also be a single shade of black. The lettering on a number plate must also confirm to certain standards, such as the height and width, of each character, the thickness of the character's stroke, the spacing between the letters, and the minimum margins around the entire edge of the number plate. Now, failure to adhere to those, along with such things as number plate lighting and keeping the number plates clean so it is readable, are all punishable offences. Now there is, num there is legislation for the display of number plates, or as the legislation calls them, registration plates, which covers where the plates should be displayed, the lighting of number plates, space character and styling, etc. Under the Road Vehicles Display of Registration Marks Regulations 2001. Although, funnily enough, I've yet to be able to find legislation that makes a number plate with a certain configuration of letters and numbers an offence of being offensive. In fact, if it were legislation, then the DVLA staff who go through the number plate configurations to weed out any that they deem to be offensive would themselves have been in trouble for allowing the SL11THO number plate to slip through. As it is, offence is subjective to the offendee. Therefore, if one person finds something offensive, the very next person might not. Not that that stops government agencies taking the absolute piss. In fact, if these certain configurations were indeed unlawful or illegal, then the computer that creates all of the number plates or the number plate configurations would have been coded in such a way as to prevent certain configurations from being issued. But guess what? It doesn't. And therefore cannot be unlawful or illegal to have certain plates in certain configurations. Yes, as discussed in yesterday's video, altering your number plate to resemble something other than it actually is, is an offence, and therefore you would expect those guilty of such to be charged under the relevant road traffic laws or the Road Vehicles Display of Registration Marks Regulations 2001 legislation. And this brings me on to why I'm making this video. Bearing in mind that the woman in yesterday's video did alter her plate and should have been charged with something other than having an offensive number plate, the next person in this video, which is not a news story but is a fairly recent one, was done for having an offensive number plate too. But this one wasn't even altered in any way and was fixed in place as it should have been after being printed as it should have been. A mother was arriving at a nursery in Perth in Scotland when a Scots police car nipped in behind her, blocking her in. The copper said he wanted to talk to her about her registration plates, threatening to issue her with a £200 fixed penalty notice if they see her driving her car with the number plates on again. 
Now, before you hear what number plate she had on her vehicle, I will give you some time to type your thoughts in the comments, you know, just for fun. And then I will reveal her number plate shortly. The woman said her partner brought the plates for, the, for their Jaguar F-Pace because it was a configuration that vaguely resembled something that he says often. She said, it was so strange. I was taking my wee boy to nursery. We pulled in and a police car came storming in. I didn't think it was for me at first. They were blocking the car park for other people getting in. It's a big car park. They could have passed beside me instead of blocking me, instead of blocking the entrance. An officer came up to the car and started ranting and raving about how my number plates were illegal and illegally offensive. My wee boy was getting quite distressed because I was talking, because I was taking him out and the police were angry with me. The officer asked what it meant and went on about how it was wrong. He said it is a naughty number plate. She added, he said I would be fined £100 per number plate and the DVLA would seize my plates and they can't be used on the road again. Now remember the copper is said to have said that the number plates were illegal and illegally offensive. So let's see if you can work out what is so offensive about these. No, me neither. Well, not until it was pointed out, uh, at least. But until that point, I was completely lost. The woman said the plates are supposed to mean fuck I, which the woman says her partner says a lot. She said, I explained how my partner got the number plate from a DVLA approved website. I think if you buy it from a site like that, it would be above board. It's supposed to say fuck I. Usually people see it and laugh at it. You wouldn't think it would be that bad that the police would block a nursery because of it. Now, based on the logic of the police, then any number plate starting with FT, ending with WNK, CNT, BST, BSD, CCK, WKR, or even SIT would all be banned, along with hundreds, if not thousands of others. But as I say, these offence offences are subjective and some people might not even have understood the connotations until pointed out so does that make them liable for not realizing that somebody something that somebody else has found offensive in this scottish case the number plate hadn't even been altered in any way and she was still threatened with charges for an offensive number plate which is the exact reason i published a video yesterday because as far as i know to my knowledge she wasn't charged with breaching registrate uh, registration plate legislation it was as in this case to do with the plate being an offense which is utter, utterly ludicrous i apologize for the noise it's the neighbors now with that said i do hope these knobheads who tried to call me out yesterday without even paying attention to the video actually bother to listen to this one thoroughly today as i really struggle to keep trying to explain to people now granted i do realize that this one is in scotland the other one was in wales legislation is slightly different but even here in the uk the offensiveness of a number plate isn't in legislation it's just a rule that the dvla have come up with the same as other rules that the dvla come out with that are not legislation but are enforced should we be enforced by rules or should we be enforced by law I suppose is my question with regards to this.